equal and not equal, lesson 5.9. We can decide if a number sentence is true or false. An equal sign tells us that one side is the same amount as the other side. 5 plus 1, this side of the equal si sign is a 6, and it says it equals 6, and this is a 6. Both sides of the equal sign are showing a 6. They're both ways to show a 6. We can show a 6 as the number 6 or as a 5 plus 1. Here we have 5 plus 1 is equal to 4 plus 2. This side is equal to 6 and this side is equal to 6. 5 plus 1 is a way to make a 6 and 4 plus 2 is a way to make a 6. Both sides of the equal sign are showing the same amount. That means this number sentence is true. This is a true number sentence. Both sides are showing the same amount. We can match the cards that make the same number. We can add these inside the card, find out what they equal, and compare them to the cards on this side. 10 plus 2, we start with the larger add in 10 and count on 2, 10, 11, 12. This card is equal to a 12. Which one on this side is equal to a 12? We can add them up and write their sums next to them so we know. This one is 5 plus 2 plus 1. We have 5, 6, 7, 8. So this one's an 8. 5 plus 2 plus 1 is a way to show 8. Here we have 7 plus 8. We start with the 8 and count on 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. 6 plus 6, that's a doubles, isn't it? We have 6 and we can add 6 more. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ah, there's our 12. So we know that one's a 12 and that one's a 12, so these match, don't they? 4 plus 4, that's a doubles. We can start with the 4 and count on. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, 4 plus 4 is 8. That means it matches this one that is an 8. So we can draw a line to match them. And the only ones left are these. Let's add this and make sure. We have 8 as the largest add-in, so we're going to start counting from the 8. And you know what? If we add this 2, we'll have 8, 9, 10. Then if we add the 5, 10 plus 5 is 15. That was more compatible to add and make 10 first, then add the 5. So this one's 15. So we know that this one is equal to this one. 10 plus 2 is equal to 6 plus 6. And 4 plus 4 is equal to 5 plus 2 plus 1. And 7 plus 8 is equal to 5 plus 2 plus 8. The matching cards can be used to write a true number sentence. 10 plus 2 is 12, and so is 6 plus 6. Both sides of the equal sign are showing the same amount. They're both showing 12. 7 plus 8 is 15, and 5 plus 2 plus 8 is equal to 15. Both sides of the equal sign are showing the same amount, 15. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, and 5 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 8. Both sides show the same amount. That means they're true. The equal sign means that both sides should show the same amount. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7, and 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. This number sentence does not show the same amount on each side of the equal sign. 
This number sentence is false. 3 plus 4 is not equal to 5 plus 1. 3 plus 4 is equal to 5 plus 2. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. And 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. This number sentence shows 7 on both sides of the equal sign. So this number sentence is true. Which is true? Circle the answer. Which is false? Cross out the answer. Are both sides equal? Let's see. Which one's true and which one's false? 6 is equal to 9 minus 3. Let's start at the 9 and count back 3. 9, 8, 7, 6. Yes, 6 is equal to 9 minus 3. So we're going to circle this one because it's true. 2 plus 3 is equal to 6 plus 1. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. This one is equal to 5 and this one's equal to 7. That's not true. That's false. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 minus 1. Is that true? 5 plus 3 is 5, 6, 7, 8. This side is an 8. Is that equal to 8 minus 1? 8 minus 1 is a 7. Well, 8 is not equal to 7, so this one is false. 4 minus 4 is equal to 3 minus 3. We have two subtraction sentences with different numbers. Could they be equal? If we have 4 and we take away 4, we're going to have 0, aren't we? And if we have 3 and take away 3, we're going to have 0. So you know what? 0 is equal to 0. This one's true. Let's try this one. 7 plus 3 is equal to 5 plus 5. Is that true? 7, 8, 9, 10. This one is a 10, and 5 plus 5, that's doubles. Do you know what 5 plus 5 is? If you said 10, you're right. So this one's true. 10 is equal to 10. We can do the addition to make sure to see if they are equal. 7 minus 1 is equal to 5 plus 4. 7 minus 1 is 1 less than 7. That would be a 6. Is 5 plus 4 equal to 6? Hmm. If we start at the 5 and count on, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. 6 is not equal to 9, so this one's false. We cross off the one that's false and circle the one that's true. How about here? 6 minus 2 is equal to 7 minus 3. 6 minus 2, we can start at the 6 and count back 2. 6, 5, 4. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Do you know what 7 minus 3 is equal to? Let's start at the 7 and count back 3. 7, 6, 5, 4. That's also equal to 4. So this is true. Both sides of the equal sign are equal to a 4. 18 is equal to 1 plus 8. Is that true? 1 plus 8 is 8 and 1 more. That's a 9. 18 is not equal to 9. That's false. Circle the true number sentences, cross out the false number sentences. The first one says 2 plus 8 is equal to 8 minus 2. We start with the larger add an 8 and count on 2. 8, 9, 10. And this side of the equal sign is equal to 10. We do 8 and count back to 8, 7, 6. This side of the equal sign is equal to 6. 10 equals 6? No, 
they don't show the same amount on both sides of the equal sign, so this one's false. We need to cross it out. 6 plus 3 is equal to 7 plus 2. We start with the 6 and count on 3. 6, 7, 8, 9. This side of the equal sign is a 9. 7 plus 2, we start with the 7 and count on 2. 7, 8, 9. That's a 9. 9 equals 9. Yes, we can circle this one. That's true. 9 is equal to 9. 15 is equal to 15. That's an easy one. Yes, 15 is equal to 15. 9 plus 6 is equal to 18. We start with the 9 and count on 6. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 9 plus 6 is 15. That's not equal to 18, so we can cross this one off. It's false. Write the numbers to make the sentences that are true. 3 plus 8 is equal to 6 plus something. We need to find the unknown number. What is 3 plus 8? We start at the 8 and count on 3. 8, 9, 10, 11. We need to put a number here that added to 6 is going to make an 11. We can start at 6 and count up to 11 to find the number. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That would be a 5. Then this side would equal 11 and that would make it true. An unknown number is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5. Well, let's find out what 1 plus 3 plus 5 is. We start with 5, the greater add-in. We count on 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 is equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5. 8 plus 0 is equal to an unknown number minus 1. What is 8 plus 0? We're adding none, so it's going to stay 8. What number can we put here minus 1 would make an 8? Do you know? It would be 1 more than 8, wouldn't it? It would be a 9. 9 take away 1 would give us an 8. Then we would have 8 on both sides of the equal sign. 7 plus some number is equal to 12 plus 0. Well, 12 plus 0 is 12. So what number can we write here that when we add 7, it would give us a 12? Let's start with the 7 and count up to 12. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 5. 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 plus 0. So remember that whatever is on one side of the equal sign has to show the same amount as the other side of the equal sign for it to be true. Our next lesson is facts practiced 20. That's lesson 5.10. Try practicing and see if you can make number sentences that are true, that have the same number on both sides of the equal sign. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.